Hello friends, today we have selected uh, a drug that is used in emergencies and that drug is adrenaline. So today we will discuss about adrenaline. Adrenaline is also known as epinephrine. Uh, its pharmacological actions are due to its agonist action at alpha and beta receptors. Uh, so all of you know that alpha receptors and beta receptors are kinds of adren adrenergic receptors. So the pharmacological actions of adrenaline are produced due to its agonistic action on these receptors. So it is agonist at alpha 1 receptor, alpha 2 receptor, beta 1, beta 2 and beta 3 receptors. So what kind of pharmacological actions can be produced? Number 1, it is a powerful cardiac stimulant. By stimulating beta 1 receptor, it increases heart rate, force of cardiac contraction, thereby increasing the cardiac output and conduction velocity is also enhanced. Thereby, thus, it increases the oxygen requirement of the myocardium. Blood vessels have both alpha and beta receptors. Alpha receptors mediate vasoconstriction, while beta 2 receptors mediate vasodilatation. So, it causes vasoconstriction in the skin and mucous membrane, renal vessels, pulmonary and mesentic blood vessels due to alpha action. While it causes vasodilatation, beta 2 action at the skeletal muscles, blood vessels, cerebral and coronary vessels. What is the effect of adrenaline on blood pressure? The small doses given by intravenous infusion, they cause hypotension because adrenaline predominantly acts at beta 2 receptor at the low doses. It also acts on beta 1 receptor and beta 2 receptors at low doses, but at high doses it acts on alpha receptors. So in a small doses given by infusion, IV infusion, it mainly causes tachycardia and hypotension. If it is given in moderate doses in subcutaneous injection or slow IV infusion, it causes rise of systolic blood pressure and decrease of diastolic blood pressure. Thus, there is slight increase in mean blood pressure. So, rise of systolic blood pressure is due to alpha action and beta 1 action and a decrease in diastolic blood pressure is due to beta 2 action. So, the mean blood pressure is increased slightly and this is due to both alpha beta 2 action. Now smooth muscles, what is the effect of adrenaline on smooth muscles? So its action is due to mainly beta 2 receptors. In bronchus it causes bronchodilatation, bronchodilation that is beta 2 mediated action. In gut both alpha and beta receptors they mediate relaxation or relaxant effect and this is in contrast to the other effects uh, mediated by alpha receptors on the other sides of the body. In most of the sites alpha receptor mediate contraction but in GIT it mediate relaxation. So in gut there is spasmolytic action. Uterus in uterus non-pregnant uterus contract while at the term pregnant uterus there is tocolytic action or relaxant action due to beta 2 action. In the ur urinary bladder the tusser is relaxed while trigone is contracted thereby increasing the holding capacity of urinary bladder. In eye there is active midriasis alpha 1 action due to contraction of radial muscles of iris the, and these are also known as dilator pupillary muscles and there is slight decrease in intraocular pressure and this is due to decreased production as well as improved drainage of aqueous humor. The metabolic effects of adrenaline are hyperglycemia due to hepatic glycogenolysis and inhibition of insulin release. So these are the pharmacological actions of adrenaline. Now moving to the pharmacokinetics, the drug is not given orally, it is rapidly inactivated due to metabolism in gut and liver. It is metabolized by mainly by two enzymes called COMT and MAO that is catechol O methyl transferase and monoamine oxidase to vanillyl mandelic acid which is the metabolic end product and it is excreted out in the urine. In some cases, uh, so for example, pheochromocytoma which is the tumor of adrenal medulla there is very high level of catecholamines inside the body and it can lead to rise of urinary VMA level and it, it can be used as a diagnostic marker for pheochromocytoma. What are the adverse effects of adrenaline? Adrenaline can produce anxiety, tremors, palpitations, restlessness, headache, precipitation of angina and arrhythmias. Preparations, it is used in the concentration or dilution of 1 is to 1000, 1 is to 10,000 10, and 1 is to 1 lakh. Route of administration, it is given by 
subcutaneous or intramuscular route mainly in the 1 is 2000 concentration, IV route by 1 is to 10,000 and slow IV infusion in 1 is to 1 lakh concentration. Contraindications to use of adrenaline are hypertension, angina pectoris and patients on beta blockers. Now what are the uses of or indications of adrenaline? So current uses are anaphylactic shock, it is the preferred drug. In fact, it is the life saving measure in anaphylactic shock and it is used in the concentration of 1 is 2000 uh, by intramuscular route 0.3 to 0.5 ml. In cardiac arrest as a part of advanced life support along with cardiopulmonary resuscitation. Local hemostatic agent, uh, for example in epistaxis to control local bleeding, it is used in 1 is to 10,000 to 1 is to 20,000 concentration and along with local anesthetics. 1 is to 10,000 to 1 is to 2 lakh to prolong the action and reduce the systemic side effects of local anesthetics. So this is all about adrenaline. Uh, thank you so much. This is Dr. Ravikant Tiwari, Associate Professor from the Department of Pharmacology. Thank you so much.